Here we are at Fort St. Marks or San Marcos de Apalachee, which was a Spanish fort and significant site during the first Seminole War. Then, unfortunately, there's a boat ramp next door. So let's go in the grounds and museum. And here is a uh, monument commemorating Millie Francis, a uh, Creek Indian daughter of uh, Josiah Francis. She received a Congressional Medal of Honor for saving a uh, American soldier's life. And anyway, that's uh, interesting they remember her here. And in front of the fort site, you have the U.S. flag and the Florida flag. Uh, few people know that the Indian on the Florida flag uh, represents Millie Francis, but that's something that's probably long forgotten. Of course, you have the uh, Spanish, the uh, British, and the Conf Third National Confederate flag up there. And the military cemetery, said to contain the remains of soldiers from the 4th and 7th Infantry. It says that the original uh, military burial grounds were 1,200 feet east of this point, which is the boat ramp. And like most burial grounds, when they built the boat ramp, they uncovered uh, a lot of artifacts and buttons. And buttons mean they buried coats there, which uh, had bodies in them. So they probably didn't catch all the uh, soldiers and move them here. The museum is the uh, built on top of the remains of the old uh, hospital that was used here during the 1850s, uh, Third Seminole War time period. Okay, this is the visitor center for San Marcos or Fort St. Marks. And actually, with all those tall weeds and trees there in the distance, that's the original fort. There's not much left. Uh, there's some of the stone Kikina walls which was kind of one of the corner Spanish gun emplacements over there. But uh, mostly uh, remains of the fort were cannibalized for the rock and building supplies. So let's go see some of that. These stone remains, it was uh, one of the Spanish bastions and then the Confederates reinforced it. You see some of the old uh, Kikino rock or I guess limestone rock is what it is. Overlooks the St. Mark's River. This is kind of actually the back corner of the fort. And the beautiful St. Mark's River, you can see some crab buoys, some fishermen and kayakers. Salt marsh area. There used to be a boardwalk here that got destroyed by a hurricane in the 1980s. Let's continue down the path. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, have some uh, Yopon holly right here. That's what the uh, black drink is made from. You can tell by the uh, serrated leaves and kind of the white branches. Okay, this is actually a uh, gun position and bomb proof behind it. One of the back corners of the fort, you know, right by the parking area on the back side of the museum. And let's go down to the fort, or the fort side, I should say. The fort no longer remains. Uh, deer flies are kind of ferocious today, so I'm going hurry.